we'll try to understand uh, our major topic today, what we are going to address uh, impact of COVID-19 health crisis uh, on service sector development in Sri Lanka, challenges and opportunities. Uh, let me to proceed uh, that uh, topic. Uh, we, of course, from the University of Colombo, uh, always uh, uh, go with the uh, contemporary issues, uh, particularly uh, in economics and uh, health sector we are talking here. Uh, first, let me uh, show you the agenda, what I'm going to cover uh, in my uh, 50 minutes uh, uh, presentation. Uh, I think there are some uh, non-economic graduates as well. So there are non-economic students as well. So therefore I thought to give some uh, conceptual definitions at the very beginning, uh, two or three, the most essential conceptual definitions. Uh, apart from that, I, I would like to explain economic and social progress of Sri Lanka uh, with the, in comparison with other countries and COVID-19 health crisis in the world and Sri Lanka. I think we all are aware about the global situation, but maybe Sri Lankan situation is new to you. Uh, then characteristics of uh, economic crisis in Sri Lanka. Now uh, we know uh, the global level also there is an economic crisis. Sri Lanka also uh, we are facing economic crisis. Let us see what are the main characteristics of Sri Lankan uh, economic crisis. Uh, then uh, going into roots and outcomes of the economic crisis in Sri Lanka. I will explain the roots. Then uh, let me to move on to sectoral growth, particularly uh, services sector development issues uh, at present. Finally, we will look into challenges and opportunities as a, a, a developing country, what kind of challenges we are facing and what kind of uh, uh, opportunities we are having. Let me to uh, define uh, concepts. Uh, those who are not familiar with economics, uh, sometimes we use uh, recession and uh, crisis as interchangeable. These are two things in economics. Uh, for uh, emphasize that, I pose you a simple question first how recession is different from crisis, how recession is different from crisis. In economic point of view, let me to define it. The recession means you can see here a decline in real production within two or more consecutive quarters of the year. So if two quarters of the year uh, particularly GDP uh, coming down, we call it as a recession. And on the other hand, economic crisis is broader one, which uh, we do not measure only with the uh, production. So for that, uh, economic crisis, we believe uh, the real per capita income going down. And apart from that, the inflation rate increases and unemployment rate also increases. Finally, it affects the living standards of the people by uh, increasing poverty level of the country. So these are some important dimensions when we are explaining the economic crisis. If the uh, per capita income coming down, price level going up, unemployment rate going up, poverty rate going up, then we call it's an economic crisis. Then economic crisis always affect our uh, living standards. So during the economic crisis, what will happen? Uh, people's living standards going down. On the other hand, uh, liabilities of the country in terms of uh, domestic and uh, external will increase. So that is the usual phenomenon of a crisis. Then there is a definition here for health crisis as well. Being an economist, I am uh, uh, suggesting this uh, health uh, crisis definition so that you can see what is health crisis mean in my presentation is the wild fluctuations in number of patients, available medicine, 
human and physical resources for health sector, and finally, increasing death rate. So if these things happen, we call it in economic terminology as a health crisis. So uh, finally, uh, when we uh, compare internationally uh, information in economics, we use uh, gross national income per capita. It's not only US dollar based gross national per capita income, we usually use a purchasing power parity value of the GNI index. Purchasing power parity means ability to buy goods and services by using $1 in a country. 